pepper. Firstly, I'm going with halogen. It's my holy grail. <laughs> it's just like the best moisturizer or cum primer I've ever come across. It just forms a layer between your skin and the makeup and just protects from everything. Next, going with a primer called Maybelline Pore Eraser. It gives you a baby soft skin, hides your pores, and probably it's like the least uh, expensive one out there, seriously. Winter or summer or monsoon, <laughs> moisturizer is the best thing ever. I'm using Seraphil moisturizer and applying all over my face and bending it out on my neck because come on, it's your own body, baby. Summer and sunscreen just goes hand in hand. Just taking a lot of amount again and applying it on my face. Because I don't want to be tanned more than I've already been at the moment. Next, going with ADS Ultimate Contour Palette. I'm using this blue green color corrector and applying it on the, all the redness on my face. People usually in India do have a grayish and blackish tone if they have dark circles but I'm just, I don't know, a weird person, I have reddish tone. So I have to use blue or green or purple rather than orange one. Just brightening all the areas using my YBP Cosmetic Beauty Blender called Makeup Perfector in a way. Just blending it all out. Make sure your beauty blender is damp guys because that's important. <laughs> Following that, we are going with this concealer. It's concealer, of course you can see. Just blending it out on it. Next, going with CoverGirl Compact in the shade Fair. Taking this really powder brush and patting it on the top of my lids, eyelids, I mean. Just it prevents creasing the concealer. Next, going with the Ultra Blush Palette by Savannah Cruz, but I'm using this as an eyeshadow, using this contour shade of like a like lightish brown. Just applying it on my crease and bending it out with the Urban Decay brush. Next, I'm going with Ulta 3 Brown Lip Liner Gum Eyeliner. Just applying it just like an eyeliner at the moment. Also applying it on the waterline and the lash line. It looks hideous at the moment, but we are going to just blending like we're going to blend it out. So don't worry. Using the same Urban Decay brush, but on the tapered end, I'm just going to blend it all out and create a bit of brownish, smoky effect. We're still left with it. Don't worry. This one has not hit me on the eye. I swear. I'm taking the Samara liquid eyeliner it's a brown eyeliner with a very bit that tint of glitter in it I'm taking the same concealer and just cleaning the mess I created and just making the cat eye that I have created at the moment pretty sharp using the same thing on the brow bone so it highlights it and blending it out with the naked YBP beauty blender Next, going with Estee Lauder Brown Zero Two Shade Mascara. It's actually a mascara, but I'm using it as a brow mascara because my brows are pretty thick, as you can see. Someone can call me Rowan, like literally, you get that. Just using that and getting them into place because these bad boys like to get out. For the mascara, I'll be using Clink Mascara. That is shade black 01. I'm just getting my lashes on fleek. No, I know it's eyeliner, but come on. Repeating all the same steps, getting collector, collector, color correcting. Why can't I speak English? Color corrector under my eye, blending it out. Same thing with the concealer with the yellowish tone. And do the same thing with that same blender because I love them. I love this beauty, beauty blender. 
Remember, always take it in the center of your face to create an illusion of a smaller face because smaller face, I don't know, I find it more prettier. So, not the other faces are not pretty in a way. For the foundation, I'll be using this Lacme Invisible Finish Foundation. It is a lightest shade, but I this is like kind of darker for my skin tone. But I've been tanned with all the traveling I'll be doing these days. So I decided to use a one, the one, which is similar to my skin tone at the moment. Flawless. Same compact, going in and preventing the creases by the concealer. From the ADS Ultimate Contour Palette, I'm using this deep brown, cool tone brown shade for contouring. Probably applying it everywhere because I really need to sharpen my features because boy, mm, I like them sharp. Blending it all out because blending is the key. Next going with the Illuminator by Faces Ultimate Pro. I usually use highlighters but this time we are going for a corporate look so your highlighting should not be like blinding but subtle and neutral so I'm just using this and patting it all with the beauty blender. My favorite step glitter pen by Flare which is like 10 bucks come on it's like the best thing ever. This is going in on the inner corners of my eye and for the blush, I'll be using two blushes. First one is Bite Link. Lip and Cheek Oil in the shade Black Honey. Secondly, I'll be going with Streetwear's Bubble Gum Lip Gloss. They both are lip glosses in a way. We're just applying them on my cheeks. Just gives you a very fresh sheer tint. For the lip line, I'll be using Huda Beauty Trophy Wife. Wife. I'm not just using it as a lip liner, but just applying all over my lips. I prefer like this pinkish nudie kind of things if I'm having smoky eyes. On top of it, I'll be applying a lip gloss for the change. That is Revlon lip gloss in the shade Iced Coffee. I love coffee. Lastly, fixing all the things, the beauty things, with the Kiss Beauty Aloe Vera Makeup Fix Spray. Applying a lot because I love it. And that's the final look. Wait, 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 it's not it. We still live with outfits, by the way. Special appearance by Salt and Pepper. Hi, cuties! <laughs> 